Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with a brief screencast on Euro Dollar Futures, which are a type of interest rate futures contract. The key difference between a forward and a futures contract is that the forward is a private over the counter transaction between two counterparties, whereas the futures contract trades on an exchange, as is the case with a Euro Dollar futures contract. So the Euro Dollar futures trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, where the trading unit is a principal value of $1 million and a three month or 90 day maturity. Euro dollars are US dollars deposited in non US banks, and the Euro dollar futures contract is a way to lock in essentially the LIBOR interest rate. The design of the contract is such that, and it's illustrated right here in the listing at the Chicago Merck, the design of the contract is such that if we take a long position in the Euro dollar futures contract, then for every one basis point drop, that's a one basis point decline in the LIBOR, we will gain by $25. And conversely, for every one basis point increase in the rate, we will lose $25. So to illustrate this, I just looked at the actual delayed quotes, and it's roughly the beginning of September 2008. If we look at the December 08 quote, for example, I could have used any of these. If I look at the December 08 quote, it's 97.005. That's on this uh, three month Euro dollar futures contract. Okay, so that's the quote. And I took that quote and put it right here into Excel. 97.005 is the quote. And what that means is that corresponds to a LIBOR of 2.995%. That's simply because we take 100 and minus the quote, and that's the implied rate. So it's almost 3%. So if I take a long position in this Euro dollar futures contract, what I'm essentially doing is locking in this almost 3% LIBOR rate on the 1 million par or principal value. Now the contract price is given by this formula here. The 0.25 is because this LIBOR rate is an annualized rate and the Euro dollar futures contract is for three months or 90 days or one fourth of a full year where the day count convention is 30 over 360. And so the quote corresponds to an annualized rate of almost 3% and then my contract price implements this formula here. You can see how it's in the neighborhood of the 1 million par principal value. And so I've just input the formula in here. 10,000 multiplied by 100 minus the 0.25. That's really to convert the annualized rate to a three month rate times 100 minus the quote. Q for the quote, Q is here the 97.05. So here's the formula. I implement that. The single contract price is 992,000. And again, to remind you what I'm doing is the long forward, I'm sorry, the long futures contract, I'm locking in an almost 3% LIBOR rate on the par value of $1 million. And so let's just assume that let's just imagine that we go forward to December 2008. This is a futures contract that's get, that gets marked to market along the way. Let's assume that the LIBOR actually drops to 2%. Now remember, I as the long position, I've locked in the 3% or more favorable rate. So I've protected myself and this should correspond to a gain. If the LIBOR is 2%, that means the quote on this contract will shift up to 98. That's because again, it's one minus the annualized LIBOR. So you can see here is the gain for me as the long position in the contract. The contract price will again be the same formula here, 10,000 multiplied by 100 minus 0.25 times 100 minus the quote. 
And so the contract price, as this contract is marked to market, while the LIBOR goes down, the contract price goes up, and the difference in this case is $2,488. And I'll have you note that this is by design again, we said, under this scenario notice, LIBOR goes down by almost 1% or almost 100 basis points, and my gain was in fact almost $2,500 or almost $25 per each basis point decline. And so that was, that is my gain. My gain in fact is about 25, is exactly $25 per one basis point decline. Similarly, let's imagine that the LIBOR instead went up to 4%, in which case the LIBOR increased by about 100 basis points. Well, my quote on a mark-to-market basis goes down, my contract price goes down to 990000 and in this case I lose about $2,500 or $25 per each of the 100 basis points that were increased in the LIBOR. I locked in a 3% LIBOR and LIBOR went up. So that's the basic mechanics of the Euro-Dollar futures contract. This is David Harper, the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.